Well, my fellow agents, as most of you know by now, Title Update 17.1 was implemented into the game this morning. And while there are a lot of videos I want to make in regard to the changes that were made, the first video I wanted to make sure I put out there was a farming video on how to gain XP in a short amount of time so you can get as many apparel keys as quickly as possible. What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and as I said a moment ago, this is all about gaining apparel keys as quickly as possible and this is a video truly designed for new and returning players that are jumping back into the game. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well and we are having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 but as always, I will go over those details at the end of the video. Now the thing I want to really highlight today are all the different ways you can find farm for XP in the open world that can help you get these apparel keys pretty quick. Now before we go into that, I want to touch base on a few details. First of all, I recommend when you log into the game this morning, look at your apparel keys. For some reason for this event, I had four keys already active or excuse me, four keys in my inventory. So that is what you're seeing me open up now. And secondly, you should be gaining one event apparel key for every four shade levels that you gain. That's why our focus today is farming XP. And one more friendly reminder for new and returning players is there is a different difference between the event apparel keys and regular ones. And as you're gaining shade levels, you will be getting notifications for both, but I will show you exactly what to look for on screen in a moment. Now, getting back to the XP farm itself, most of you know this by now, but there are so many ways you can farm for XP in the game. And we're not just talking about control points and missions, we're talking about open world activities. And there are a few things I want to get into really quick. First of all, obviously in this game, the higher the difficulty you play at and the more directives you have active equals the more XP XP you're going to earn, but in my opinion, this is all about time management and trying to get through things as quickly as possible. So for some of you out there, you may actually find it more efficient to drop your difficulty and add a few directives. Now what I'm going to do for a baseline is I'm going to change my difficulty to challenging add three directives to show you how much XP you can earn in a short amount of time. So even if it's at a lower difficulty, you can still stack that XP really fast. Now another question a lot of you send the channel is what should you focus on when you're farming? And again, this is for new and returning players, this is not for the person who can run legendary seven directives in the summit and just shred stuff. This is for people who are just kind of starting back into the game and want to be, like I've said multiple times, efficient with your time. Now for me, and I've talked about this in multiple videos, I love territory controls. They are at a stationary location. You know the exact timing of the NPC. And once you get the timing down, you'll see in a moment that this takes about a minute of your time to clear and you're getting about 200,000 XP for that one minute of gameplay. Now, the other thing I like is that these also have the potential of respawning in the same location over and over again. So I'll show you in a moment what you do once you clear the area. So again, you can see how quickly you can run through this thing. I grab the key, I'll go over to the cache, open it up, and you'll see I'll gain about 200,000 XP. Now the next step is very simple. All I'm going to do is once I grab the loot, I'm going to open up my map and I'm going to reset my control points. At that point, the game is going to bring me to the nearest safe house. And once I load back into the game, I'm going to check my map in the hopes of that territory territory control being there once again. Now here's the thing about this game and territory control. Sometimes they will respawn over and over again, sometimes they don't. So if you try it once and it doesn't happen, my recommendation is this, maybe try it one more time, but if you do not see it respawn on that second attempt, just move on to another. Thankfully, there are so many of these territory controls around the map, find one that does respawn for you, and then you can rinse and repeat as many times as you like. Now we're going to get into more XP farming details in a moment, but what I want to do is promise to show you exactly what you need to look for on your screen when it comes to gaining those event apparel keys. So you'll see right here, as I load into the game, I did wind up gaining a shade level and you can see at the top it says next event cash key in three levels so right now i'm at you know 2963 that means by 2966 i should have one so once again always make sure you keep an eye on your shade level because there are some times in this game you will get a notification that you have received a key my recommendation is immediately check to make
make sure it's in your inventory. If not, I will show you a workaround to make sure you get it. Now, the next thing I want to do is kind of fast forward a bit. And at this point, I want to show you exactly what to look for when you get that apparel key. The game will show you on screen exactly what takes place. So once again, you can see I'm at a territory control. This is my favorite thing. Again, a minute of time, 200,000 XP. I'm on heroic now with three directives. So obviously I'll get a little bit more. But you'll see here in a moment, once I do clear this area, it will have given me that fourth shade level that I need in order to earn an apparel event key. So once it's done, again, I'm going to grab the cash key, go up here, open it up, and then you'll see the notification on the screen. Now, as I said before, the first thing you want to do when you see that notification is immediately open up your inventory, go to apparel, and make sure you have the event key. Now, in the outside chance that you do not have one in your inventory when you open it up, all you need to do is log out of your game, log back in, check your inventory, and it should be there. And if that does not happen for you, please let me know in the comments section, I will try to get you an answer as quickly as possible. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out, if you look on screen, you can see it is very clear when you get an apparel key for this event. It says one necessary tactics apparel cash key. It's in bright blue or teal, whatever you want to call it. And it also says the next event key is in four shade levels. And once again, it should be there right when you open your inventory. If not, let me know what's going on. Now, the final question I'd like to answer really quick before we get into some more farming stuff is how long does this event go on for? And you can see it says on screen, it's just under three weeks now and to be clear when the three weeks end you will obviously keep all of the gear that you've earned but at that point you will no longer have the ability to farm for keys however you will always have the option in this game to buy stuff so if you do miss out on something you want you can buy it at that point but again my friends use these three weeks farm like crazy and hopefully get everything you're looking for now briefly getting back to farming methods or not farming methods areas you want to farm really really popular ones are resource convoys elite patrols elite convoys like you've seen here territory controls which i happen to love because again you know they do respawn over and over in the exact same spot but remember when it comes to this game you have so many different ways you can farm for things again my friends all of you know we are a family here so any tips or tricks you want to pass along to new and returning players please leave in the comment section as the main goal is to help out as many people as we can with all that being said my friends i'm going to start to wrap this up now as i said earlier this video is just about trying to get apparel keys and show you efficient ways to do that. I will be putting out other videos in regard to title update 17.1. There are a lot of things I want to test out and as always if you have any questions, comments, or feedback please let me know. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video we are currently having a giveaway at the channel for a PlayStation 5. To enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced May 4th of this year. On that note I'm going to let the rest of the video play out however I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone Get away.